found is here. Let's open her up. Okay, so on this load, I did two and a half free trays of uh, pureed tomatoes from my garden. I used the smaller trays, but if you put it combined them, that would be two and a half trays or two and a half shelves in my medium with that. My garden doesn't produce, the way I made that was my garden doesn't produce the tomatoes all at once. So I've been throwing them in a bag and throwing them in the freezer and freezing them until I had enough to do something with. Uh, so when I was preparing this load, what I did was I took them out of the freezer, frozen solid, and ran them under tap water and rubbed them, rubbed the, the frozen tomatoes, and the skins come right off. Now I've seen people talk about taking the seeds out and all that stuff and I didn't bother with that. I don't, I don't mind seeds in my tomatoes. So what I did was once the skins were all off I totally let them thawed and then just ran them through my blender. Poured, those in, poured the end product from the blender into the trays, stuck them in my freeze dryer and uh, there you have it. This tray right here, I did another tray a V8 juice and I'm going to do a separate video on that as I reconstitute that. I have done one of the small trays before and it was pretty good but I didn't do a video so I wanted to do a video for you on that. So we'll just focus on the tomatoes today. They're extremely, extremely light very light and break away very nicely looks well done so for reconstituting I'm not going to worry about weighing or how much to do what because I'll just put it in as much water as I want to make say a, a chili sauce or, or a tomato paste or you could even go to as far as to a tomato juice depending on how much water you put into it. So let's get this all blended and put into a mason jar. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I was afraid of that. It's not going to want to fall down. Too light. So I might have to do some poking in there. All right, let's give that a go. Each one of these, each one of these little trays is two cups of pureed tomatoes.
that's what 10 cups of uh, tomatoes, pureed tomatoes, goes that reduces down to about half of a half gallon. Actually, under half. So that's pretty good. Now I'm going to vacuum seal that. So I think, because I don't want none of that. I don't want none of that powder to get in my vacuum sealer. So I'm going to put this coffee filter on the top of it like that. Kind of hopefully reduce reduce some of that. Alright, so am I standing in the way of the camera? I've been told I stand in front of the camera too much. There you go. That's seated. That's seated. That's seated. Uh have it that's sealed up well looking nice so just a short one for you today